Hi, hi, thanks for tuning in. This is another installation of um, Studio Talk. So recently I was out looking at the uh, videos on YouTube and I discovered something called un unboxing. In the particular video that I looked at, the gal was doing a little bit more than just unboxing a box, she was kind of scantily dressed and um, I'm sure her viewers were not quilters. So I'm gonna skip that part. <laughs> Please, yeah, right? And anyway, she was unboxing um, panties out of a box and then she was um, suggesting that if her viewers would like to see her model those panties, then they could check her Patreon page. I don't know if you're familiar with Patreon. It's a paid service where um, people have websites and they offer additional uh, information, videos, stories, whatever, um, for subscribers. That's down the road for me, but right now I'm going to concentrate on my YouTube channel. Anyway, it was is a clever idea, and so I decided that maybe I could do an unboxing for you. And believe me, I, I'm keeping my clothes on. Before we do the unboxing, let me tell you why we're doing the unboxing. About six or seven years ago, I became involved with a group um, that contributed gifts at Christmas time to children um, who have an incarcerated parent. And it was through an organization called Angel Tree. It's a national and it could possibly be an international organization. And it's predominantly um, a service, a mission through various churches. So um, when I, at that time I was in Bentwater and the Bentwater organization or the Bentwater community gave gifts um, through through Angel Tree. So when I got when I left Bentwater and I returned to Houston and I uh, joined Memorial Drive Presby uh, I can't believe I said Presbyterian. I used to be a Presbyterian forever. I was a Presbyterian and then I jumped ship and became a Methodist. But um, <laughs> Memorial Drive United Methodist Church. I found out that they also have an Angel Tree program. And um, this year, the program is under our missions department, um, was taken over by a young lady, and I stopped in to visit with her to see if the church would be interested in having quilts made for the children um, for Christmas. One of my reasons to do that is because I was given a large amount of fabric by a friend, and most of it is juvenile prints. and. I probably uh, don't use very many juvenile prints in my own design work, but they're beautiful pieces and I wanted to share them with the community. And the other reason is because I enjoy collaborating with other artists, other quilters, and it gives them an opportunity to make some quilts and get them out into the community also. So in the spring, I put together some kits and uh, gave those to a lot of different people to return to me and I would do the quilting. And then one of my friends who I've known probably for about 15 years through blogging, and she's also um, come to Houston to the quilt show a couple of times and I've, I've had the pleasure of, of meeting her and having dinner together. She um, has recently retired and said that she would love to make some quilt tops and send them my way too. So we exchanged some fabric and she has, you know, like all of us, closets full of fabric. And so Deborah has gotten really charged up and has made a bunch of quilt tops and uh, alerted me that they were on their way. And I thought, what a great thing to unbox at my box unboxing day. So today I'm going to share with you the quilt tops that Deborah sent me yesterday and um, We'll see what's in there. And I don't know what's in here either, so it'll be fun for all of us. All right, stay tuned. 
Okay, here's the box. I managed to get it open without mangling it too much. And you can see it's packed. It's, she definitely got her money's worth on the postage price of these. This was one heavy box. That's one of the issues with quilts that and, and sending fabric. It's very heavy. So okay, looks like looks like we've got some good ones in here. I'm excited. I'm next door taking care of Talia, my little sweetheart, and she's currently taking a nap. So I'm going to pull these out and um, put them along the railing in her little play area. Okay, hang on tight. Okay, there's going to be a fight over this one, I can tell. Everybody loves purple. Oh my gracious, look at the purple. It's interesting, when I made the kits up, now um, Deborah is working on her own. She's not using any of the kits that I made. Those are for people at the church who just want to make a top. But when I made the kits up, everybody always picked kits that were their own favorite motifs or had purple in them. And they would often say, you have any ones with purple? So, um, yeah, this is great, wonderful. Isn't this pretty? I love the combination of all the different prints. Great, okay, let's check out the next one. Oh my word, look at this one. Is this cute or what? Look at the little dogs. For cats, dogs, cats, dogs and cats. So cute. So, so cute. Love this one. Yeah. Great. Thank you so much, Deborah. Yay. All right. Let's check out the next one. All right. Here's a super patchwork. And um, I'm, I'm, really, I'm really digging this one because... I know that Deborah and I uh, exchanged fabrics maybe five or six years ago, and I see a bunch of them in here, like that one. I recognize that one. I recognize the boats. And actually, I think the boats came from another friend in California, so who sent them to me. Um, I recognize that little map one down there. So, and this is a great little vintage piece that we all had. So yeah, this is this is fabulous. It'll be great for a boy. These, these quilts are going to go to um, kids that are up through age 18. And they're about 45 by 60, which is a good size even for um, a teenager as a lap quilt. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, this is just flipping cute. Absolutely adorable. My friend Mary gave me a set of fabrics with these um, cute little frogs on them. And so I passed those along to Deborah to use. These are um, really cute little prints. And then she used a fun stripe and even mitered the corner fun that's that's a cute one and it's great for girls or boys so i, I don't know what it is i like little froggy things all right now here <clears throat> here's the next one and this is stinking cute just absolutely adorable look at the giraffe, cute as a button. And speaking of buttons, look at all the dots. I love polka dots, absolutely love polka dots. How cute is this? Wow, Deborah, you did fabulous. Great, wonderful, love them. All right, let's check out another one. Isn't this fun? This is a great layout, absolutely great layout. Simple, have a square, and then the rail fence block, which is right there. Then you have a square, rail fence, square, and then the next row, 
you do the rail fence vertically. But boy, what a nice, nice finished layout when it's done. And this is a great one for a boy or maybe even a girl too. I guess girls like dinosaurs. Look at that dinosaur print. Cute, cute, cute. Love this one. Great. I really don't want my box to ever empty out. These are so fabulous. This will please a little girl for sure. Cute, cute, cute ballerinas. Look at those sweet ballerinas. Hmm. Little swans. That is a sweet print. And I love that it's paired with the pink and gray. This is really popular right now. Deborah, you did great. These are wonderful. So sweet. Love this. Easy, easy patchwork. Uh, four patch with the pink and gray and then a solid alternating. Makes up a cute little quilt. Well, here's another one people are going to be fighting over. Can you believe how cute this is? Pink, purple, yellow, and ladybugs. Ladybugs. And the, the fabric, the ladybug fabric has some little sparkles on it. Yep. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. Again, that's that rail fence done a little differently. All the blocks are oriented in the same direction. So you do get a different look to the layout. That's adorable. It's going to be so fun for me to quilt these. I'm going to try to learn some new things. Um, I really have never done pantographs, which are paper patterns that you uh, my long arm has a laser and it follows the laser and then does the stitching and I have to push the machine with the laser on the line but uh, I'm going to try some pantographs with these just to expand my uh, repertoire too. I mean part of the reason that I decided to do these was to get out of my comfort zone. All right, we have one more quilt top to show you. And we have frogs. And I love frogs, like I just told you, and polka dots. So this is cute, very cute. Little nine patch blocks, uh, alternating with solid blocks. Fun, anybody would love this one, lots of Lots of movement, and who doesn't love green, right? Okay, well, that was my unboxing. And uh, you want to tune into my X-rated channel, I'll show you some other things. Joking, really. Seriously, joking. So, have a great day, and if you would like to contribute to the Angel Tree Quilt Project, uh, my email is Deborah L. Dixon at yahoo.com and I'm more than happy to um, quilt your tops for you and give them to some children in the Houston area. Just like these great quilts. Yay! So exciting. I can see what I have set up for myself for this summer. Look at that. How cute is that? Oh my gosh. And patchworks and puppies and purple because everybody loves purple. All right, check you next time. Thanks for hanging in here with me.